So let's begin with symmetry. What does symmetry mean? Symmetry, as suggested by the image on the left, means that there's some operation, in the case of physical objects, some physical operation, like a rotation, that brings the object into self-coincidence. In this case, if you rotated this figure by 120 degrees about the axis represented by that triangle, and you closed your eyes while you did it, you wouldn't realize that you had done the rotation. That's called a threefold axis, and as you can imagine, symmetry of more complicated objects can have other symmetry axes, and so the icosahedron, we'll come back to that in a minute, represented on the right, has fivefold axes, threefold axes, and twofold axes of symmetry. Some viruses have helical symmetry. Helical symmetry is, is uh, represented by a screw axis. And so tobacco mosaic virus, which was studied historically as one of the very first viruses for which detailed biochemistry and detailed structure became available, is a helical array in which the nucleic acid, the RNA, is wound into a groove on the protein subunit and, uh, and, and winds up with the protein which forms this helical array. There are a number of other helical organizations in virus particles, vesicular stomatitis virus is a much more complicated enveloped virus with an outer glycoprotein, that's what this G is, uh, on the right. But as you can imagine, helical symmetry uh, yields elongated particles that get unwieldy. And so far more common is the isometric, that is roughly spherical characteristics, of virus particles with icosahedral symmetry. The icosahedron, one of the platonic solids, the fanciest one, so to speak, with 20 triangular faces, is simply a representation of icosahedral symmetry. An object needn't have icosahedral shape in order to have icosahedral symmetry. And likewise, I could destroy the symmetry of this object by painting an asymmetric object on each face rather than an object with threefold symmetry. The icosahedral symmetry uh, is uh, represented or characterized by, as I said, twofold axes fivefold axes and threefold axes. And if you place a single asymmetric unit, asymmetric subunit into a space governed by icosahedral symmetry and then operate on it with the symmetry axes, you get 59 others. That is, there are 60 locations in all that are related to each other by these various symmetry axes, by these various symmetry operations. And so a particle with, with icosahedral symmetry will have 60 subunits. What I've flashed in here is a sort of uh, schematic representation of what might be a protein subunit to suggest that a small particle with 60 protein subunits appropriately interfaced with each other can um, form an icosahedral structure. 